Hello together. In this video I will show you how to create a word add-in. A word add-in is here uh, in our ribbon bar when you look at the final or last uh, tab um, of your ribbon bar then you will see usually if it's it's empty and you will see something if it's if there's your own uh, written computer functions in there. <coughs> in my case I made a little save button and when I push this stuff then it's saved as PDF. Now let's go on uh, how will we, we will create this one. Uh, first this is written in Visual Studio and Visual Studio is a free uh, edition. It's uh, the Visual Studio Community Edition 2015 in this case but it's also possible in Visual Studio Express editions and formal releases. Now we create a new project and in the new project we will see there are templates. Uh, there's a template Office SharePoint uh, VSTO. It's Visual Studio to Office add-ins. I don't know what, what, what the T is for. And there we, see, we say, okay, I create a new Word um, here, a Word add-in. This one. And you see there are special releases, uh, 2010, and these are Excel, InfoPath, and all this other, all the other stuff. This means we create a ribbon bar which will be inside the Word document as a uh, inside. Uh, there's also the possi possibility you, ta you take uh, these Word add-ins, uh, web add-ins. So, but in web add-ins you don't have all the the entire functions which are possible here as a Visual Studio add-in. Now we start with the uh, Word add-in. And before I go on there, uh, on a default Visual Studio you won't have these uh, options. You first have to include the... Oh, I only have it in German. I, uh, you only first have to include the Microsoft Office developer tools. <coughs> I will throw all the all those links be below the um, the video. So Office Developer Tools, you download this and start this, and then you have all that stuff. Okay, let's go on. Now we start here as an add-in. We say, okay, this is my Word demo demo add-in zero one. In my actual folder, this will create a subfolder with this uh, name. And I have installed the uh, developer tools. Now, when you start, you see a blank file there. And then we have to do, let's so first we have to take the solution explorer. And in the solution explorer, you will see this uh, word block we will uh, you will see the code is first there this add-in so this is the code which starts when the add-in starts or shutdowns so we you may do some functions uh, when this comes up you may load for example uh, special functions or special buttons now this is nothing you don't see the rim bar so I have to go to my uh, solution or project here on the left side oh I see demo is written wrong DOM Okay, now we say, okay, we add a new item. And this new item, there we have the, um, <coughs> let's also have a look special in this subgroup, Office and SharePoint. We have this uh, menu bar as a visual designer or XML designer. We will first take the default uh, menu bar visual designer. Uh, we could also take, if you're used to a program WPF or XAML uh, or universal platform apps, then you may also select the XAML file. Now we start here adding this one. Now you see this is the visual uh, block there and now we have nothing in there. We need the, our toolbox. In our toolbox we have here a group, office, ribbon controls, and there we take, um, not a box, we take a button, like all those days before. We drop this button in there. Then we go to the properties 
and then the properties we go and say okay let's say we take a, a save as pdf and now and we want this to have not in the regular size we want a big large button in there and yeah, at the moment if, if if you have a special number uh, a, spe a special picture then you have uh, there's a Microsoft a special table I start now this one in Excel there's an Excel file and this Excel file has uh, it's called word controls and there when you say, say PDF for example looking something like this you say uh, you see there's there are some words called control name and w as soon as you take this one you may copy it and then say my office image ID is this one this uh, Excel file is for download on uh, the Microsoft um, sites you will also find the link on my blog site okay we don't need this anymore now we have the image we have the button <clears throat> now you see this one there are al al always the events what happens when we push that button oh, and, uh, let's let's na take a name here we say okay the name is always importable for me the ID is the app uh, the ID the name is button PDF for example save as save as PDF now we go to the click here a click event we double click on that and now we will see this stuff there the the event what where the manager goes in there the program drops in there and this is is visual studio in c sharp and i will take my code now example code also in that side first we have to take some stuff <clears throat> that it works you will copy also the stuff into your own project we need the we need the ribbon control to program that stuff and we need the interoperabilities to word so this is visual studio to word and then we say okay we take all that stuff from the button inside i have copied this and i will explain it to you <clears throat> because we don't have to program it twice first we say environment get path uh, of the of my desktop uh, this is maybe not not this this is not important anymore we say first when you program a, ma a macro code or VBA code then you have to say give me my actual document so this is globals this add-in application dot active document this one they say this is a word document called doc and in doc we have a, we have a path and we have the name and we say <coughs> the new document name is my path backslash document uh, file name backslash pdf and then we say there's a, a big function of document as that function as pdf when we say here save as Save as save 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 as two. No, export was it? <coughs> uh, export. So export as fixed format. Now you see all that stuff. This is what we have. Uh, the all those options. Now we ha I have also already progr programmed it in here. We say there is my full path. My save as PDF. And open after this uh, when when we close that file, uh, open it as or saved it, then open it for preview. Now starting this stuff is I'm starting it here in my debugger. Hope it works. It creates an um, an empty document. I say word demo for add in something like this I say okay save this stuff in in my demo or, uh, folder here's my my desktop is my demo folder 
and I have also already prepared something in there and I demo this one. Now it's saved and now I start here in add-ins my new stuff. This is the second one. The first one is uh, because I al already programmed this stuff. Um, it is attached to ex the existing, existing add-ins. Now when I save this stuff now we, I will see this uh, word table. This now this is PDF. I close this and I close this, and you will find your stuff in my demo folder. It is here in Word. Here we see this. This one was my demo in Word. D O uh, D O C X X, and now we have the same stuff in PDF. Okay, let's take this one. Should be uh, dropped. But this is a small code and you will f uh, optimize that stuff. I will take all that code, uh, uh, you will find that code, not, not a link to the code below the YouTube file and uh, remember that you first have to install the developer tools for, for those add-ins and this is speci especially to program add-ins which uh, are included in the ribbon bar of a word uh, of the word files, especially for work groups or if you work a lot by yourself then it's, it's all that stuff in there. And it's a, a little bit like, micro, uh, like, like word macros but you can do a little bit more. You can also handle uh, files better than only in word and you may also be able to use the uh, internet and all that stuff and modify uh, thumbnails or all, all the functions which are in Visual Studio C Sharp. I hope I could help you and if you liked it then make a subscription.